the door is open. That's all I get. Look at that. What the heck? So what we did is we went the scenic way to St. James. Then we found a place that a buddy of mine has that has barrels. And uh, Gary had uh, barrels that had lemon juice in them. They were pretty cool looking barrels. They're kind of a weird green, but whatever. It does have a liner in it. And yeah, food grade, but who cares? I, I totally don't even care. I would prefer not to buy a food grade barrel simply because it won't have the liner in it typically. But we bought one with the liner so we can show you how to remove it. Anyway, now we're heading to the shop. We're gonna unload this barrel and drill a couple holes in it and burn it out. It's a good one. I'm skeptical. Plasma table. Oh, I guess the strap guy ain't coming today. What is this? This is a shop bag. Believe it or not, it's left of Oh, I didn't even see it. It says exhaust. Put this in the exhaust hole, and then we can blow. All right, fellas, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna burn this barrel out. And like we said before, I, when we picked it up, you know, it's painted on the outside. It's got that tan kind of a liner in it. Um, liner, no liner, I don't care. I'm gonna burn it out. It doesn't matter, so nothing's gonna live. It's got a few dents in it and stuff. That's okay, because this one's gonna be ugly. So the first thing you gotta do is uh, we're gonna drill holes in the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and drill our air inlet holes. So pick a side that you're happy with. This is what I'm going to use. This is a, it's made by Ideal. It's actually for electrical knockouts. It's an inch and three eighths. This thing here is not cheap. Or you can get this little kit from us that includes this, this bit right here in it. It goes from quarter inch all the way up to inch and three eighths. So I'm going to use our template here to lay that out. So if you notice, I've got this ugly barrel. You got our template. We have a deep dive video that shows you how to use this template to lay out your barrel on our website. This end up for air inlet holes. Here's the center line. We're just gonna put that somewhere. From the center line over, we've got this little hole right here. It's the center of air inlet. We're 10 inches from center line, and it's approximately three inches up. Mark that hole, and then just kind of hold everything together as you rotate. That's all we need for now. We're gonna drill those two holes and get burning. So here's one of our holes right here. Now I'll tell you when you're using this kind of a bit, if you notice that pilot bit's tapered, when you poke through and this part grabs, you might want to not push a lot of pressure, just let the drill bit do the work, because I've had these grab and snap off before. See how that just grabbed and went real fast? If you're pushing hard, it'll, it could grab and snap. Boom. Boom. Now we're gonna build a fire. This is our shop vac. This is just a bucket vac. It says exhaust. Just put your hole in the exhaust hole and this will blow air, a lot of air. This hose melts, so I don't want my hose to melt. So I get a piece of tubing that fits inside that air hole, just like that. I'm just gonna stick this up against there and I'm gonna tape the crap out of it to keep it together. like some MacGyver stuff there, boy. <laughs> I did this before. <laughs> All right. So the old shop back ready to roll. You want to make sure and have a water hose handy. And then move away from the building. Those little doodads. Tumbleweeds burn for eight minutes. We're gonna let that charcoal get started and we're gonna dump it in there. Put some paper, some cardboard, different kinds of stuff in there. And then we're gonna throw it full of dry scrap lumber. We have a scrap guy on his way here to come and get the iron. It's this big pile right here. Good old boy never meaning no harm.
Okay, after a brief interruption with the scrap guy, he came. And now Tom's sweeping up the disaster that's left over there. <laughs> anyway, uh, now we're going to light up this barrel here. So sip of coffee and then I'll get at it. Here we go. Tried to keep it dry. Let's do that. Set that off the side for a second. Stand your wood up vertically. coming off that's burning the paint off the barrel and you'll see them flames going way up well there's it's so hot some of those flames you can't see them so you want to make sure you got that away from the building and it's good make your power switch on the vacuum it's easy where you can disconnect the plug or shut the breaker off real quick and they'll still burn pretty hot once you shut that switch off you know? Paint's pretty much all gone on the outside. So you don't have to have the vacuum running the entire time, but uh, you know, get it, you can aim that hose in different places as you're burning. And uh, that's how you get it to burn all the way down like that. So when you see that much paint gone from the outside of the barrel, then you know the liner's burned off on the inside. Do it from the inside out and you'll be fine. All right, so we're going to let this fire die out, and then we'll come back down here and clean this thing up. <laughs> 